Okay, so here was my title. Yes. Uh, so, yes, my my initial plan um, and understanding of the story differed a little from what I have now. Uh, so I thought that I can uh, construct a candidate uh, for a weight structure that is uh, right adjacent uh, to the conjectural motivic T structure and uh, so to the uh, uh, being more precise to the version of the motivic T structure on the big category of motives. Uh, uh, in this talk, I will consider motives over the field and uh, mostly with rational coefficients. Uh, how, funnily enough, it turned out uh, that it is, it is more difficult to construct a candidate for this wave structure than the candidate for the big motivic T structure. However, it doesn't mean that uh, this is hopeless and uh, that we shouldn't uh, think about these matters. Okay, so some uh, definitions. Uh, so C underlined will be a triangulated category and it actually will always be caused with respect to uh, Products and uh, so retrax is the same thing as direct summoned. So, okay, car, car means that we add retrax. So, these are the orthogonals to some uh, classes of objects. And uh, for big categories, you can take this uh, notion of generation. Uh, okay, there is an alternative notion that is close to it, uh, but uh, it's a little longer to, to write uh, down. Uh, and an important uh, definition for this talk is that uh, class of objects is called, said to be connective. It is uh, if it is orthogonal to its positive twists, uh, positive shifts. So this is what happens. Uh, uh, okay, for uh, spec uh, the spectrum of point and its coproducts in the stable homotopy category topology and anti-connective uh, e, uh, means uh, that we have the opposite orthogonality. So uh, cosmation. Uh, okay, so this is. Uh, uh, Oh, yes, I didn't uh, probably have to, have to write this down. So if I say that something in consummation, I mean that this corresponding uh, uh, C is uh, close with respect to either coproducts or products. And this class is uh, close with respect to the either coproducts or products in this category. So this is the classical definition of compact object. This is my notation for compact objects. Uh, for the subcategory of co compact objects, it is certainly triangulated. So this is the definition of T structures. Uh, so I use uh, the homological notation. And this is the definition for wave structures. Certainly you are very much encouraged to ask questions, but I think that uh, these uh, matters are quite common. So I just recall them briefly. So you define uh, hearts, the shifts of the right hand side and the left hand side of V and T. And uh, non degenerate uh, means that uh, we don't have object. Uh, of t degree of infinite t degree or v degree from the corresponding side. Uh, 
and uh, for a wage structure or a T structure, it's, it is called cosmation if uh, the whole category uh, and uh, these two classes are uh, closed with respect to single products. Uh, actually, uh, for uh, if uh, the category is smashing, then uh, one of these classes automatically uh, uh, smashing uh, smashing for V, and another one is automatically smashing for T, and similarly for T. But so I just wrote both of them here just uh, to make a unit. To uh, make the definition short for both cases. Uh, okay, so it is important to understand that the heart of uh, uh, weight uh, structure is connective, and uh, the heart of a T structure is always anti connective. Uh, so uh, this means in, in, inside C underlined. Okay, uh, so now uh, I come uh, to some abstract, uh, general abstract nonsense. So suppose we have a smashing uh, triangulated category C and inside there is the additive uh, semi-single subcategory of, um, of the, of complex objects, uh, so it is also small and uh, generates C, so C is completely generated. And uh, then uh, one can uh, define a wage structure by means of these orthogonality conditions. Sorry, by semi-simple, you mean that all triangles within this category split? So this is not a triangulated subcategory. It's uh, quite difficult to be anti-connective and triangulated simultaneously. I'm not saying that it's triangulated. I'm just I'm just asking what semi-simple means. Um, so it's semi-simple uh, as an additive category, just in uh, very, uh, in, in the that, simple sense. So that uh, all triangles of C split in all triangles of B it's From just as simple as a category. It doesn't know uh, this notion doesn't say anything, anything about triangles. So this is the net. For example, the, this is a the category. Semi simple abelian. Yeah, semi simple abelian. Ah, semi simple abelian. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, uh, so. Uh, this gives a wage structure, and this is not uh, easy. Uh, certainly, this wage structure is smashing and cosmashing. And uh, since uh, we have this home generation condition, we also obtain this is non degenerate. Uh, now, uh, so. Uh, You might say that starting from a part of a T structure, you obtain a nice wage structure. Uh, now a statement in the converse direction. Uh, so suppose uh, we, uh, we have a smashing and cosmation uh, uh, wage structure on C, and uh, you can assume that uh, C is completely generated. So this is true for motives. Uh, actually, it's a weaker assumption that the Brown represent representability for the dual condition is fulfilled uh, for C underlined is uh, also sufficient for the statements, but uh, so if it's not completely generated, then this formulation becomes less interesting, uh, certainly. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, then there is a uh, left adjacent uh, T structure on uh, this category. So this means that uh, we just take the same uh, non-positive uh, part. Uh, this was adjacent means. And uh, so for a T-structure, you can uh, 
certainly recover the. Um, okay, so you can take it and uh, uh, obtain the left, you may say, chromologically left hand side part as the uh, um, orthogonal of this sort. And uh, it has, uh, you can also take orthogonal to a smaller class of objects. Okay, so this is a T structure. It is completely. Uh, oh, yes, it's not. Uh, okay, it should be completely generated, uh, but uh, this is not automatic from these assumptions. And so uh, the main idea is that it restricts uh, to, uh, to a T structure on complex objects, the main point here. Okay, what about on the non degeneratedness? Uh, so if V is non degenerate, then T is right, non degenerate. It is not true in general that T is left, non degenerate, but. Uh, uh, this is true for uh, the complex version. Okay, so if you are, uh, and if you have this non-degenerate condition for V, uh, then we can des uh, describe the non, uh, the non uh, negative part as the uh, closure of the heart, the corresponding closure of the heart with respect to co-products and shifts and extensions. And uh, the non-positive non part is the closure of the heart with respect to products, shifts and extensions. So you may say this, this is a self-dual description. Uh, this is a truly uh, self-dual statement. Mm. Okay, uh, so now from some the definition of smashing and cosmation uh, base structure, it's automatic that the heart is uh, smashing and cosmation in C. And uh, for adjacent, these uh, base, uh, T structures, uh, you, you can describe them in terms of HV. Uh, so you consider the functors that they give just restrict the corresponding co representable functors to HV. And uh, so the whole HT gives all functors uh, that respect products on HV. And uh, the, the complex version uh, gives those additive functors uh, uh, that uh, respect both products and coproducts. Is uh, TC bounded? Uh, so this was. This was, uh, oh, no, no, so, okay. It doesn't follow, I, su I suspect. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe, okay, uh, maybe, uh, maybe this is a uh, difficult question. Interesting. Uh, so, you, so you see, uh, there are two related statements. Okay, uh, so let me finish this, uh, uh, this statement. Okay, uh, so, uh, both both of these categories are certain categories of additive functors. If you know HV, then you will know both of these cards. Uh, so that's, uh, if you compare these two statements, so we can go from, uh, the, you can certainly note if you start from some B, then this B will get into the part, uh, into uh, this B will give you uh, some uh, maybe okay. Uh, some semi-simple objects in the heart of the complex version of a T structure, uh, but uh, this argument uh, does not work uh, in the converse direction. Um, so it is not clear how to recover some B if you just have uh, uh, start from V, and uh, probably uh, I suspect uh, if you look at the formulation of Keller and Nicholas you suspect that uh, this is the converse statement is not true. Uh, I don't know how to do this. 
but still you see that uh, okay this uh, so these uh, two uh, we don't have uh, mutually converse statements but uh, still uh, they are rather close to being converse to each other okay uh, now what uh, you can conjecturally say about motives in this context and what you can prove uh, so conjecturally, everything is uh, very nice. Uh, uh, so we uh, we take the category, the big category of motives for C. It is certainly completely generated. Uh, uh, you also take uh, need some veil cohomology. Uh, okay, uh, I need don't need uh, many properties of this veil cohomology. In my talk, but to be sure that everything works, uh, I will uh, say that you choose the drama singular or a type of homology. Uh, now, in this theorem, okay, this is uh, uh, probably well known. Uh, okay, I just, uh, I'm just not sure that uh, everybody knows what is the veil homology on the on the big category on uh, the big category of motives. I don't, uh, in particular, I don't know such a definition, uh, uh, but uh, so some easy arguments ex extend the cohomology from complex, ob complex objects to representable theory on, on the whole category. And uh, so I decided to write C because it is shorter than DM. Uh, and H, uh, so my series uh, will be in various in abelian groups. Okay, uh, so yes, so this is uh, one might say this is, this is well known. And uh, so nice observations. It is also easy that uh, these uh, are, uh, objects is uh, uh, pure injective. Uh, that is because uh, the, this homology series, uh, homology series due to homology, uh, to certain homology. And uh, so um, what is pure injective? Uh, so an, an object uh, in morphism is said to be compact. Uh, a morphism F is said to be fun phantom if it is, uh, you don't see it from any compact object. And uh, uh, so this uh, homomorphism is zero for any uh, compact object M. And uh, an object is pure injective uh, the, if this uh, morphism is uh, zero for any F that is phantom. Uh, okay. Um, and uh, you can uh, check uh, that. Uh, Actually, uh, roughly uh, any, uh, so uh, I wrote it like this, uh, but uh, being more precise, uh, any product, the product of any uh, set of copies over H is also a coproduct of copies over H. And uh, you can uh, obtain arbitrarily large coproducts this way. Uh, okay, and this is uh, the existence of uh, T structure. Uh, so you can define uh, uh, a cohomology theory on big motifs um, uh, by means of this uh, a T structure on big motifs by means of this cohomology uh, theory. Uh, so you obtain a rather complicated in your theorem and what is uh, uh, and uh, unfortunately okay so this is fine for motives uh, but uh, i believe that the assumption that uh, the category c is algebraic is not necessary and uh, prob it would be nice to find an alternative proof that avoids this assumption Okay, uh, now the conjectural picture is that you can just take uh, 
uh, all semi simple uh, mixed motifs. So you take the heart of the T material T structure that is, uh, and it is uh, uh, certainly the abelian. Uh, category of mixed motifs and inside it, it you take uh, the semi-simple objects and the semi simple objects there are uh, precisely sums of uh, pure uh, motifs so you can take them for b and uh, then you'll obtain uh, everything in this uh, in the preceding formulations and uh, so in addition uh, so it is uh, said there that uh, the category, uh, uh, okay, roughly it was said uh, that uh, the, the heart of V generates, uh, you can obtain the whole category C from the heart of V if you uh, close it with respect to extensions, products, and coproducts. So, and here inside, instead of the, the whole heart of uh, V, you can just take a sing the single object RH. So since uh, you can obtain a, the, the heart from it. Uh, now, so what questions uh, arise? Uh, okay, uh, so uh, as I have said, we have some candidate for T, but uh, I cannot prove that there is candidate for V. I have no idea, idea how to construct uh, the candidate that will give this V weight structure. And uh, in particular, uh, so it would be uh, if you uh, try to, uh, to, to define this weight structure in terms of um, uh, this RH, then uh, it's uh, certainly a natural question uh, is uh, what do you need uh, to obtain uh, to this, to this thing to, if you want this thing to be a wage structure on your uh, triangle category? Certainly, you need connectivity, uh, but this is uh, not uh, sufficient, uh, most probably, and uh, so you. So you need to check uh, some stronger sort of con connectivity. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, okay, you can certainly, uh, it's difficult, it's easy to formulate uh, some conditions that is fulfilled if you, uh, this is a base structure, but it's, uh, I would, I'm thinking to, about a more useful criteria. I don't know it at the moment. Uh, okay, uh, now, now my story about uh, this motivic uh, T structure and weight structure end, ends, and I j just will tell you a few observations uh, to, the, to objects that uh, represent veil homology. Uh, okay, uh, so as I have proved uh, rather long ago, and you can also deduce uh, from results of somebody else, uh, that uh, so uh, the, uh, so um, a well-known observation that the category of Chow motifs is uh, connective in DM, and it means that uh, that there is a wave structure on DM and also uh, uh, right adjacent uh, T structure that I call the Chow T structure. So uh, the objects, uh, the heart is uh, essentially the category of uh, functors uh, from child motifs, uh, yeah, yes, contravariant functors from child motifs into abelian groups. Uh, now, and I can prove that these uh, T truncations with respect to these T structures split this RH. Uh, uh, so you, uh, the idea that you, uh, uh, that the corresponding connected morph morphisms between t, uh, d t truncations of uh, H 
are phantom. This follows from the generation of uh, wave spherical sequences uh, for homology of uh, compact motifs. And then you apply uh, some pure injectivity, not just of. Uh, so pure injectivity is feel food not just for age, but also for its teacher truncations. And uh, so a nice question, uh, though difficult. Uh, I would like to thank Jose for it. So can you, uh, is this splitting uh, compatible with the product? Uh, now uh, note that this splitting is most probably not unique. Uh, uh, so uh, you probably have to choose a splitting that is compatible uh, with the product. And uh, so what is uh, so if you consider a product as a morphism of this sort, then uh, it's difficult to attack this problem uh, because uh, I cannot say anything nice about the pro the tensor square of over age. Uh, so my idea is to uh, apply a junction uh, from the uh, for this uh, product. Uh, so you can consider some category of bi motifs, external tensor square of the category of motifs. So some extra nonsense says that there is a category generated by objects of this sort. It's triangulated. And uh, I believe that there should be a formula of this sort for morphisms uh, in it. And it means that there is uh, that objects, uh, that external tensor products of child motifs generate a weight structure and uh, uh, it is adjacent to a certain T structure and that I denote like this. And uh, tensor product of uh, of item, uh, of objects of the uh, charity structure here will will give you a, a, an object of uh, this uh, tensor T structure, and uh, this is also true for for the uh, pre-image of the. Uh, Of, of, uh, the, uh, of the objects of the uh, of the uh, pre pre previous uh, T structure. This also certainly this includes uh, child T truncations over age. Mm. Uh, so uh, the idea is to modify these morphisms. Uh, first, uh, so I believe if you modify it, though, it will respect the unit in a certain sense. I didn't work this uh, really well. Uh, then it it will be uh, compatible. Uh, uh, will uh, after the, it will strictly respect uh, the uh, the t degrees, uh, and you can prove it by some induction argument. Uh, so you should prove that uh, there are no uh, for the morphism you obtained after this modification. You should prove that there are no uh, uh, components between uh, different t degrees. And I think you can uh, uh, prove uh, by certain induction. Uh, prove this by certain induction. Sorry, Sorry. any question? Yeah, what is what is in prime? Where did it come from? Uh, in prime, the the, the so in prime, uh, just from the junction. So we have a tensor product, uh, and uh, so by easy abstract nonsense, there is a right adjoint to it. Yeah, and uh, so it certainly means uh, so if just just. If, but, the definition of a junction means that we have one uh, to one correspondence between morphisms here and morphisms 
of this between ah, these two objects. I see. Yeah. And uh, so this morphism, uh, if you have a Q-linear uh, theory, then this uh, morphism is just an isomorphism. And, uh, Sorry, can I ask a question about uh, uh, about the previous thing? So the, the, I didn't get why this RH decomposes as a, a direct sum of, yeah, here. No, I didn't write the whole proof, certainly. Uh, but the idea that, uh, the morphisms that uh, contain, uh, connect T pieces of Chao are phantom. This yeah, is because these morphisms correspond to the generation of wave spectral sequences. And wave spectral sequences generate because uh, you can leave this theory to, uh, to, uh, to a theory uh, into a category with weights. So it's uh, into. So what, 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 what was the property on it? RH that was somehow used here. I didn't. Why? What is the special thing about RH that you have used? Uh, uh, we use the fact that the, these Chao T truncations of RH are pure injective. Uh, so the, the first uh, two things: uh, uh, the generation of these uh, spectral sequences and uh, pure injectivity of these Chao T truncations. So these Chow T truncations are also due to, to correspond to, uh, to the corresponding truncations of homology. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, thank you. So this is uh, so this, this should be rather easy. Uh, some more okay. I would prefer to write down some easy abstract nonsense and obtain this as a consequence. And uh, so about this tensor uh, thing, uh, this is uh, more complicated. So Joseph has uh, kindly informed me that uh, there is some, some version of this splitting results, but uh, so this is quite different. It requires some Tanakian formalism and also algebraically closed uh, coefficient field. Uh, okay. Uh, certainly, if you know, uh, okay, let me stop this. Here. Uh, so the, the last thing that I wanted to tell you uh, that funnily enough, um, you call, can almost uh, uh, demonstrate uh, an this object arrange more or less explicitly for a type of homology. So I will, to be more precise, uh, so I assume that we I take uh, the base field algebraically closed of characteristic district from L. So we start uh, from triangulated uh, category of uh, L localized motifs. And inside it, you consider uh, the subcategory uh, generated by jewels, for incorrect use of effective motifs. And uh, then uh, the classical uh, the calculation of Suslin homology made by Suslin Wojewski implies that uh, uh, if you take the unit module L of n, L to the nth power, then we represent uh, et al homology with the corresponding coefficients. Uh, then from if you take the completion, so I take the, uh, the corresponding completion, uh, lattice completion of the, of the unit, and uh, and uh, so you can compute the theory it represents. For uh, in particular, uh, the corresponding theory, uh, if you restrict this theory to compact motifs, you will obtain just the tail et al homology. Okay, now if you want to compute- can uh, Sorry, sorry? I, can I ask a question? So you, I, I didn't get what you're doing. So you, you are working with DM et al, I guess here or not? Is mm, it no, I work with, uh, I work with ordinary DM. And what, what is one? One is what? One over? The unit of the point, uh, the motive of the point. But how, how come that, I mean, I, I know that one over LN represent uh, et al cohomology, but uh, in the etal version of DM, not. 
So, mm. so you see, Suslin representability says uh, that uh, if you consider morphisms from uh, the unit motive uh, to the motive of a uh, variety, it will give you a tile homology. Um, uh -huh. Now you extend this fact to, to effective okay. motives and to analyze it. But this is just uh, the global, I mean, the global section, because k's are very closed, I guess. Yes. Um, I but it's, it's a different way of representing things. I don't know what, what you mean. Sorry? So it, it's, a, it's a weird way, way of representing, I think, ethyl cohomology. Yeah. So. So, so you, you are not saying that, that, that you just map your 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 motive to to the unit modulo L n. You first I don't understand. So you you are you 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 look at the at the motive modulo modulo L n and then you take the global section. So <sighs> the first step is to complete the unit uh, the LRD completion of the um, unit motive. Mm -hmm. And so this uh, Suslin Vyvoski result implies that uh, you will get uh, essentially the tail type homology. And uh, it means that if you want, uh, so if you want quick homology, you should consider its rational how. Uh, so uh, you will get an object uh, that represents query type homology in a uh, the uh, Q-linear uh, yeah. version of, of your D. So not 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 the, this is not the whole category of motives, but this is uh, this doesn't seem certainly so this category is rather big. And uh, by the way, you can uh, try to restrict to some subcategories here. You don't have to consider the whole category here, but. Uh, Okay, uh, so what can you say about it? In particular, if you want to prove connectivity or compute uh, the um, motivic Geller group. So you want uh, to compute endomorphisms. Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, the observations is the endomorphisms of, of R prime uh, adjust that L in degree zero. This is a simple adjunction argument. Uh, now, uh, what can you say uh, about, so R prime is uh, an extension of, R prime is extension of uh, the unit by some uh, Q linear object. This means that if you, uh, when you pass to rational house, you obtain extension of the same uh, object uh, by, by Q. So you get a distinguished triangle of this uh, form. And uh, so if you want to compute to, to uh, the endomorphisms, uh, graded endomorphisms of uh, your uh, R, RH, it means that you will have to compute, compute these uh, morphisms. So this seems to be the difficult part. But at the moment, I cannot uh, say anything interesting about uh, this uh, group or space. Actually, yes. So this Q linear is not much different uh, whether, whether you just compute the cohomology groups or, 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 or the complex, but uh, it seems to be rather difficult, but I didn't have time to think much about it. Okay, uh, so my, my talk was not long, uh, but if you have questions, uh, you are very much encouraged to ask them. And if you have any ideas or remarks uh, after some time, then you certainly I, I would ask you to write me and we can discuss it. So as I've said to you, this is not a, uh, there are some uh, pieces in my talk that are not really very much connected to each other, but I hope to, make a single picture out of them eventually. You mentioned that some statement only works with you assume 
uh, algebraicity of your category. Yes. What, this, what, what was the statement? And where did this we is a very nice uh, general statement that you have, you may say that any homology uh, det 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 determines uh, that respects into abelian groups and respects cup products, it determines a T structure. Actually, it's even more general than that. Uh, but, uh, okay, it would be nice to understand uh, whether. Uh, whether this algebraicity is necessary, I think not. But I don't. Uh, so I wasn't able to follow the proof. Okay, so I didn't. <laughs> it's uh, you. It's, you need a chain of references to understand. Whose who statement? It, whose statement was that? Who proved uh, that? So theorem oh. five two in this paper. I see. So mm. it, it probably means that you, they construct the corresponding T structure, actually, yes. Actually, you can also construct weight structures by means of this statement, this theorem. But uh, so they do it uh, more explicitly in, certain, in a certain sense. Uh, so you consider this algebraic model and do something explicit. So uh, you, you mentioned this uh, pure injectivity uh, for uh, for the, for a veil homology theory. Could you uh, say a little bit uh, more about this? I mean, is this like I mean, how, how do you prove this? That uh, R I don't know, R H. Uh, so this is uh, rather easy. So can you can you maybe remind me already about because I already already forget the definition of that. So what was it? Yes, sure. So where was it? Yes, here it is. So this is the definition of phantom morphisms. Uh, this is a morphism uh, such that for any like object, a phantom motive is a motive which uh, which uh, whose realization is zero, or is it different than this? No, uh, no. Uh, no. This is uh, uh, so you may say that philosophically. So if you have a compact generated category, mm -hmm. uh, then you can try to uh, just to view any. Any object as a functor from complex from the subcategory of uh, complex objects. Yes, and uh, it's often the case that you uh, you obtain a, okay. a conservative functor uh, mm -hmm. functor from uh, the your big triangular category in the, into these functors. Okay. So this is a homological functor. It is often uh, conservative. Is it, uh, is it the case yes, for the n? Is it the case for you? And you often obtain uh, the, all, all homological functions. So, sorry, yes. Uh, so, a sufficient condition for it to be conservative and full and essentially faithful is uh, that for DM, uh, you need some counter countability. So, it suffices to assume that your uh, base field is countable if you want. Okay, okay uh, but. <clears throat> Uh, this is rather natural that uh, you don't get an equivalence of categories. And this happens because you don't uh, uh, see some of the morphisms give uh, zero, mm -hmm. uh, zero homomorphisms on homologies that is representable by compact, compact objects. Okay. They are called compact uh, phantom morphisms. Uh -huh. Uh, so phantom morphisms are those uh, that are not seen from c uh, compact objects. Yeah. And uh, pure injective uh, objects uh, satisfy the dual condition. You don't uh, so you don't see compact morphisms uh, from uh, from them in the opposite category. Ah, oh, yes, I see. Uh, okay. Now the observation is that uh, if if you yeah. Homorphism is phantom, then uh, it's also uh, converts uh, into uh, any H, uh, any homology theory that is um, respects coproducts and with various abelian groups is converted. Mm -hmm. It's kind of uh, any phantom uh, <clears throat> morphisms uh, give zero on this homology. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And uh, now uh, the objects, uh, this uh, range and also its T truncations, uh, they are uh, dual uh, in a rather simple uh, sense to, to certain homology theories. Mm -hmm. uh, so they just uh, they don't they don't see uh, this, the same uh, uh, the morphisms that they don't see in the opposite ca category exactly the, the, those morphisms that are not seen by these homology theories in the mm -hmm. initial category. Mm -hmm. This is so so called Brown Combinatorial Duality. I'm not sure what is the usual, the usual generality for this notion, but morally, it is it, this it. But I, I'm still a, a bit. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I don't see how you use this uh, condition to, to 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 decompose again this LH. I mean, I'm still. Uh, let me write something down. So yeah, it would be great if you can write something down. Actually, because it's a bit hard to. Uh, okay, let me come to the end. Oh yeah. Um... So we have R. <clears throat> Maybe you want to write tau here, I don't know. Okay. So we can see there's a corresponding Mm -hmm. And you want that this morphism is zero. So now you take compact object M mm -hmm. and you try to say that this, uh, for any compact M, this composition is zero. Okay. So this will suffice because uh, of this pure? Uh, this suffices if you know that this uh, guy is pure injective. Okay. okay. Uh, this is one. Mm -hmm. So this is if you want to cut it in two pieces. You need a little more if you want to have a okay. no, that's, that's direct, direct sum, but this is the main idea. Uh, uh, now you can uh, just express this as a part. Uh, So this morphism group uh, just gives you uh, a weight piece of the of the corresponding uh, homology of M, and this morphism group uh, gives you another weight piece. Mm -hmm. So if you apply M to this uh, triangle, uh, then you will obtain uh, uh, just uh, the. Um, one exact sequence that corresponds to uh, weight to the weight filtration on your cohomology. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this morphism group leads to something of these two morphism groups lead to something of separate weights. So they cannot, uh, you cannot have, a... okay, so. Uh, you may but say that you, you can judge uh, if, if you apply M, uh, can apply this uh, triangle to M, that you get an explicit weight uh, mm -hmm. exact sequence uh, corresponding to homology of M, and, the, and this and this arrow will be zero indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, but how do you show that the uh, truncations of the tau homology are pure injective? I, I said that they are just a dual 
uh, to certain homology theory. And for any uh, Brown communist U, it's uh, any Brown communist U is pure injective. So uh, maybe you can ask this question. Maybe it's related to this, to, the, to, this, to just this question. So what, what cohomology theory is this T minus I R is representing exactly? So do you, do you know, do you have like a, a formula for, I mean, is it exactly weight less than I or something like this? So you uh, uh, the, the homology series just corresponds uh, correspondent weight pieces of your uh, of, of your homology. But it, it's something like easy to prove actually because I mean I don't know this this uh, the way this trunk this, this structure is defined is a bit. I mean. Yes, so this is uh, uh, this is just the consequence of the definition. Um, uh -huh. Because if, say, if, I mean, if you prove it for you, mean you prove it for for proper smooth varieties, and then it will follow uh, by by generation, I guess. Uh, so you need, you need to yes. So this e two e two generation uh, yes it appears in the picture. Uh, so yes. So you want to say that. Uh, so if, after apply a m, you you want to say that this is. Uh, uh, that you will get an injection here and subjection here, and it uh, follows, uh, yes, from the generation of the uh, spectral sequence at E2. Mm. You can Sorry, uh, exp express uh, the corresponding, uh, so you can express uh, these uh, morphism groups in terms of uh, the child weight structure, and the generation means that uh, you, uh, you'll get injection here, subjection here. So, so these are called virtual T truncations, and E2 generation implies that they uh, these properties for them. Does it e generate degenerate at E2 for all the, all smooth varieties or for all motifs or only for smooth projectives? Uh, so eventually it does because we have a splitting. Uh, I uh, so and I preferred not to think about uh, whether you can obtain uh, this degeneration uh, uh, without <laughs> uh, directly. Maybe you can. So you should extend this fact from competitive motives to arbitrary one. Since this is but you do not, you, you do not use it to prove to show that the that the maps. So yes. Actually, uh, this Actually, the, the, I, I didn't. The I way. didn't try to use it. Uh, so maybe there are some difficulties. Mm. It would be uh, so. It's uh, yes. You can think about it. So you should consider some int uh, category. Uh, yes, some int series, something like this. I don't know. So can I can I ask this question of something? So again, I'm I'm still about this this guy this this R here. So I mean, in the case of of the singular cohomology, uh, yes. one can define by hand. I mean, in some sense, uh, a spectrum, uh, so a, a motivic spectrum, which uh, on whose value somehow on or w which represent um, let's say singular cohomology, but only in weight less than i for for a fixed i. Okay. Like very concretely, so it's, it takes a, a variety X and, and doesn't give you the whole cohomology group of X, but only those of weight less than I. Does it does this coincide? You think with this with, the, with what you write to? I think it should. Sorry. It should probably. Right. I think. But, it... but then then okay then then. Ah. Uh, I see. Right. So I mean, so somehow one, one can maybe run this argument without speaking about this uh, this this child this structure, I guess. If you can define this uh, this object by hand, I mean, I, it's not really a difficult construction to define. Uh, so you need uh, if you go okay. So you you need uh, these connection arrows, these distinguished triangles. I mean, if you can define one one of the maps, then you can you can make the, the triangle, I guess. Right? So so uh, you, uh, 
if you want uh, to prove this splitting, then you need this triangle. So uh, you, uh, are you sure that it goes? So when you write T bigger than I, is this weight bigger than I or smaller than I? I'm sorry, I never knew this. Because usually the weight smaller than I goes to the whole thing, right? So it's the weight filtration is like is increasing. Yes, so yes, in the usual convention probably uh, it corresponds to, yes, you're, I think you're right. Uh, yes, so in the usual convention it will, will give uh, probably weights at most minus i probably, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, or minus i, I mean, yeah, of course. But I think it's smaller, it should like not, but anyway. So yeah, one can define, I think, the map from weight cohomology smaller than i to the whole cohomology, and then you, you can take the cone of this. So, okay, so, so you need, uh, if you want to do it explicitly, then you need this triangle, and you also need, uh, uh, also should calculate what happens when, if you apply it to a compact motive. So you, you know what happens when you apply to representable motive, so and to, to motive of, of X smooth, and then- Yes, uh, but I don't think that this is sufficient. sufficient. Enough to conclude. Yeah. Yes, uh, it's uh, probably not enough. Yeah. So how does this duality thing works? Uh, work this uh, the, the thing you mentioned that you, your cohomology theory should be dual to some homology theory and then you can get pure injectivity for free. What, what is the dual in, in, in this context for these uh, So, okay, suppose you have some uh, Uh, you can start from some HC from uh, from uh, uh, from compact from compact objects uh, into uh, abelian group. Uh, no, let me say this: they have vector spaces. Then you can uh, you have a con extension of this functor. And this functor uh, you have uh, will respect uh, coproducts. And uh, mm -hmm. then you define the AH dual. So I, I write it over a field. This is not necessary, but this is the case you need for in this context. You take just a dual. Uh, then you'll get a cohomological functor that sends uh, coproducts into products, uh, and it means that it's representable. This is Brown representability. And uh, yes. so, okay, and uh, so you also have a similar formula for morphisms that gives you pure injectivity. It is more so this works for any kind of extension. Uh, uh, so what uh, do, I, do you mean any, uh, so if you have, um, if you have a function into some not very nice abelian categories, then it may fail to work. Well, into vector spaces, this is fine. But yes. yeah, I'm just trying to, to understand what we're using from a talc homology. Uh, we, yes, uh, but, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, You should also const uh, control the weight pieces if you want to prove something like this. Mm, 
yeah so you want these t truncations to ah to be also to be dual yes um, yes they should be also dual so the corresponding uh weight truncations of homology on on compact objects or something yeah this is yes, formula yes. for compact objects. so one of the consequences of your objectivity is that it suffices to uh, ah. to look at uh, to you can restrict your representable functors to compact objects 